All right, I did a little sanding test spot here. It's coming out pretty smooth, so there you go, my man. Start sanding. It's sanded smooth, so I'm just getting all the dust off. We're gonna throw another coat of primer on there. There's a, a one spot right here where we had to go through the glass back to the phenolic. So that spot's not fiberglass anymore, but it's pretty smooth. Put another coat of primer on it and uh, take a look at what we need to fill again. And I, we didn't fill between the fins, so I know for sure we're gonna have to do that, but I figure another coat of primer will bring to light any other issues we'll run into. All right, so you guys have seen plenty of sanding and painting, so uh, we kind of just been doing it off camera. But uh, I put a coat of yellow on it just to get some uh, contrast, find more spots that needed filler. I found a lot of them. <laughs> but uh, so we got to sand this all down, and then we're gonna do more primer before we lay the actual lay the actual yellow on. Alright, it might not look like much, but I can't begin to explain how smooth it all feels. It's pretty awesome. So Brennan's just finishing sanding the nose cone. And we're going to lay a coat of primer on it. See how it goes on. We might do the first real coat of yellow too. As long as the primer goes on smooth. So I just took a wet paper towel and wiped all the dust off. We'll do the same to the nose cone and then paint her up. There's still, you can see these spots where the yellow stayed glossy are going to be problematic. You'll be able to see them, but luckily, I own a sign company, so uh, we can just put decals over everything. We need a clever name for this rocket. I told them we should call it Only the Beginning, because, you know, you know how it goes. This won't be the last, but, uh, yeah, let us know in the comments if you got a better name than that. All right, so we ran out of primer. This side looks good. <laughs> but uh, we're just gonna do enough coats of yellow that the undercoat's not gonna be very evident anyway. So, uh, step one before you paint a bright, obnoxious color is <laughs> put a tarp over your roommate's expensive motorcycle so you don't get murdered in the morning. <laughs> This side looks really good, but I made a rookie mistake in not thinking about the fact that because there's no primer on the other sides, the paint's not going to stick as well. So there's a pretty good run there, one on the nose cone. But uh, now uh, we got a little bit of the uh, classic crackling going. You know, I never had a problem with that really? until I started doing the shift knobs. I had never experienced it before. Huh. Painting rockets for like seven years, and then it just starts. Now everything I touch, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna just uh, let her dry and then wet sand it with 400 grit. Try not to take all the yellow paint off, and then it should stick to itself fine. The lines here. Just to keep the heritage. About the sketchiest thing you can do is shoot clear coat at night, so that's what I'm gonna do. The next day. Let's oh, see the, the clear run. Yeah. Sure is. The perils of spraying clear in the dark. Yeah. I told them not to do it on camera and then did it anyway, and the clear ran in a couple spots. But you know, it is what it is. It looks really good though. Yeah, it's not bad. Feels really good. Yeah. Uh, there was a spot right here that was probably a little too wet for clear, so it wrinkled up a little bit. But like I said, we'll just put vinyl over it, and no one will ever know. I really like this. Yeah, that came out cool. I cleared over top of it, pulled the tape off, and cleared over the stickers so they would stay on better, hopefully. And you know, it's, uh, the lines aren't perfect because it was just cheap blue tape, but yeah, no, but it still looks really good. And it fits in a little bit better than I thought, honestly. Yeah. Because I thought the blue was going to stand out and be like, why the hell did you do that? But, oh, but it, it looks like meant to be. Kind yeah. Of. All right. Retainer unmasked and caps on. There you go. Just needs a little vinyl and it's done. 
ready to fly now though. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna mark the, because this is a certification rocket, we're gonna mark the center pressure and then put a center gravity marker where it needs to be one caliber for safety margin and then it'll be super easy to prove where it needs to be. Just gonna use the ROXIM calculation for CP. So I guess that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Join us next time on Rocket Vlogs where we put some vinyl on this and I start the Big Bertha. Well, finish the Big Bertha, I guess. It's already been started. Yeah. I'm just gonna do some fillets and stuff and then I got a Red Max and another Red Max and a Goblin to build and we just bought another kit that we're gonna use for testing purposes. There's a lot of rocket stuff coming, so uh, sit tight, make sure you're subscribed, and uh, don't forget to comment what you think we should name this rocket below the video. Yeah, we gotta know soon. Flying June 2nd. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we're gonna do a big, big complicated edit of the launch, so long as there's a launch, get a test footage out, and then uh, see if we can't make it to a few big launches. NXRS added that to our schedule. That's gonna be a crazy one. But for now, thank you guys very much. We'll see you in the next one.